The Night the Reindeer Died. This Christmas, only on IBC. Annyeong haseo and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and we end with a movie that gets everything absolutely right. It's 2022's Violent Night. Santa has lost his faith in children and Christmas. However, when a little girl's family is taken hostage, he'll have to use all his Christmas magic to save her and maybe even restore his own spirit. Violent Night brings our series full circle. We started with Jack Skellington trying to figure out what Christmas means by stealing the role of Santa, and we end with a Santa Claus who no longer wants to do the work. Likewise, the movie is trying to tap into the twist of Santa being violent instead of benevolent. From Silent Night, Deadly Night on, the pitch of each of these films has been, what if Santa, but evil? Violent Night has the same conceit as Rare Exports, Santa's Sleigh, and Synth that the very magic that makes Santa whimsical could also make him worrisome. However, the movie doesn't have the cynicism of, say, 2012 Silent Night, which leans into the way Christmas can be unpleasant, disappointing, and depressing. Instead, Violent Night recognizes that Christmas movies, even Christmas horror movies, need to be not only slightly silly, but sincere. Sure, the movie is the feature-length version of the fake trailer for The Night the Reindeer Died that opens Scrooged, the final film from last year's list, but just like Scrooged, Violent Night is a dark comedy with real heart at its core. What makes me so enthusiastic about this movie is the fact that it takes the scary Santa trope and, instead of making Santa a monster, all his menace, all his magic, is brought to bear in service of protecting a child. Not only that, it's through saving this child that Santa finds renewed purpose, finds the way to recognize himself and rediscover the joy of Christmas. The older I get, the more I find kindness more interesting than sadism, hope more ambitious than despair. Yes, the story in Violent Night is obvious, a bit saccharine, but that only means that it's a Christmas movie. Of course, it's not perfect. The characters are a little cartoonish in their flaws, making the final collective character turn at the end seem unlikely, but I'm not going to get too nitpicky over a movie that opens with Santa vomiting over the edge of his sleigh onto a wonderstruck bystander. The movie is a wacky, whimsical delight that I can see becoming part of my annual watch list, probably right between Anna and the Apocalypse and Scrooged, and I unreservedly recommend it for any holiday viewing purpose. 4 out of 5 Sledgehammer Wielding Santa's Saving Scamps. And that brings us to the end. Thank you for spending your time with me, and I hope you have a very scary Christmas. Until next year, stay safe and stay spooky.